Yes, hello. I'm Emmanuel from Majesty's House of Music. Um, I'm going to do a series for beginners. Um, if you are an advanced player or an intermediate player, then I'm sorry, this is not for you. Today, I just want to take care of those who are absolute beginners. I know you are in the lockdown or in this time when you have a lot of time to practice and maybe you don't have somebody to instruct you. So I am assuming that you are just a total beginner, you just go to a piano and now you don't know what to do with it. You want to start out playing some songs, you are on YouTube looking for lessons. So I'm going to make this very simple, straightforward, so that a complete beginner who is seeing the piano for the first time is going to understand. And I'm going to do a series of lessons. So you better subscribe to my channel so that you'll always be updated when I post the next video in the series. And so for the next uh, four or five days, I'm going to help you play a song in the next four or five days, okay? So when you get your piano, it depends on the type that you have, you'll see this series of white and black notes. So today I'm just going to take time and introduce this instrument to you, tell you the correct naming. I know for those of you who are playing for some time, maybe you did not learn piano in the right way. And so maybe you didn't even know the correct names of the notes. I keep on receiving messages and people who are already playing the piano cannot even tell me exactly what keys they're able to play. They give me the wrong notes. They tell me things like F uh, flat, you know, uh, E sharp. And you know, those kind of names that are confusing even to people who are already playing the piano for some time. So today I will take time and tell you the correct naming of the notes on the piano and then tomorrow I'll move to the next stage so just go with me please trust me and go with me you will be good to go after the next four or five days to play your first song right so on the piano uh, we have many notes depending on the length of your piano we have pianos that are, are about 49 keys we have pianos that are about 61 keys we have um I believe is it 74 74 keys or 71 keys then we have the 88 key piano which is the full range piano like what i'm using here today is a full 88 key long piano so it doesn't matter the length of the, of your piano the notes are all the same right so um, we have a series of black notes at the top and a series of white notes at the bottom. But what I want you to understand is that it doesn't matter the color of the notes. All the notes, uh, I want to, you to assume that all the notes are just the same. You know, when I'm training many students, they keep on asking me, okay, what, what about the black and white notes? What's the difference between the two? There is actually no difference between the black and white notes apart from issues of naming and all that which we shall look at in a moment but all the notes are just the same i want you to ignore the colors and just assume that all the notes are equal in importance okay so we have um, repetition of notes on the piano meaning even though you may see many notes on the piano even though you see many notes um, there are just a few notes on the piano which have been repeated in, you know, in series, in repetitions, okay? So, the black notes on the piano are only five. There are only five notes, black notes on the piano, and the white notes are only seven. Five black notes and seven white notes. Now, that stack of five black notes and seven white notes is what is being repeated throughout the piano from the bottom all the way up to the highest pitch okay from the low pitch to the high pitch okay so let me first look at the white notes i will start on this note this white note here which is called a c now the c is the note that is just below these two black knots. This is how I teach my students to be able to easily identify the knots. If you look at the two black knots anywhere on your piano, anywhere on your piano where you see two black knots, the knot at the bottom is called a C. It is a C. Anywhere you see the two black knots, the first, the first white knot is a C. 
and where you see the two black notes the first white note is called a C now in music we use the alphabets from A to G so we don't have any note called H I J K no A to G so this is a C now the reason why we start teaching you from the C is because we have this middle C note which is the note in between the piano when you're moving up, when you move, if you move from uh, the C towards your right and if you move from the C towards your left this is the middle note on the piano it's called the middle C now the key of C or the C note is the easiest place to begin learning the piano because we are not going to be involved with the black notes the C note and the scale of the C or the key of C all run on the white notes so for now when you begin learning you will not be touching the black notes first so that you don't get confused so if you're teaching somebody how to learn piano now this lesson I believe is also for teachers start with the key of C because your student is not going to be confused with all the black notes here at the top so you'll only be dealing with the white notes when you begin looking at your chords and your scales okay so this is called the C now if you remember your alphabet the note behind C is definitely going to be a B the note behind B is definitely going to be A now once you have these three notes you can find the rest so A B C D E F G A B C now I want you to know that when I get to G I again begin the cycle remember we said we don't have H so we only have letters A to G so when I get to G I begin again the cycle on A so I want you to note that where my A is the first A and where the next A is there are a group of three black notes okay see these three black notes the A is always in that position in the group of three black notes after the two black notes the first white note is an A after the two black notes before the third black note the white note is an A so anywhere there is a stack of three black notes you have your A there anywhere three black notes you have your A and once you have your A, you can always get your B, C, D, E, F, G, then back to A, because we don't have H. Then B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that's why I told you there are only seven white notes. Okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are all the white notes on a piano. Why? Because now we'll just repeat the same stack of notes. Okay, again. A repetition of those notes again from A to G. Again, when you get to the G, you get to the A and you repeat the same notes again up to the G on top. Okay. So I believe now you've got the names of all the white notes. Now, a simple exercise for you to do is to try to find the name of the notes at random. At random. So for example, you just uh, hit any white note at random and see whether you can get the name of that note immediately. For example, just hit this. And you should be able to notice that that is an E. Okay? You should be able to name the notes at random. A, B, E, C, G, G, F, G, A, B. See what I'm doing? Now, get the guideline using the black notes. This is how I teach my students to begin identifying these notes first. If you see the group of two black notes at the top, the first white note is a C. Okay? If you see a group of three black notes at the top, the first white note is an F. So now you have two centers that can help you get the rest of the notes very quickly. So when you see two, two black notes, the first white note at the bottom is a C. When you see three black notes, the first uh, white note is an F. Two black notes, C. Three black notes, F. So when you have C and F, if anyone points, a note at random for example here you can just um, count the notes backwards on the alphabet C B then that will be an A 
if somebody points here then you can count it from the C because you always know the, the first white note from the two black notes is a C then, then you'll be able just to quickly count C, D, E okay or F if you are comfortable with the F you can just move an, a, one step uh, behind F and you know that note is an E Okay, so use the three black notes to know that the first white note is an F and then the two black notes to help you know that the first white note is a C. If you have those two centers, the F and the C, then it, you'll be able to quickly identify any note that is thrown to you at random. So it doesn't matter where the note is given to you, whether it's being uh, played at the bottom or at the top. Focus on the groups of threes and twos. Three, F, two, C then you can be able to identify any note that is thrown at you. So we have given the names of the white notes. Now the white notes in music are called natural notes. Now in my series of training, I'm not going to take you so deep into the theory of music because my channel is about praise and worship music. So I'll only give you the most important and relevant facts that you need to understand so that you are playing your songs as soon as possible okay because if we begin going uh, deeper into the theory of music and you know all the details uh we'll be here for two or three years because you know music is done as a degree in a university but i, I don't want us to go that way i want you to be playing your first song in the next four or five days okay so I'll, I'll only focus on the most important things and i'm assuming you don't have a teacher at home and you're relying on this lesson on this series that i'm going to be doing to learn right so as i said please subscribe to my channel so that you'll always be updated when i post a new lesson you'll see a notification right so i've given you the white notes which are called the natural notes on the piano now let's move to the black notes the black notes on a piano are usually called sharps or flats. Now these <laughs> these names consume even very advanced piano players. Sometimes you, you hear them naming notes wrongly and I, I, I'm very sure, comment below this video if you already know how to play but you've still been confusing the names of these notes. Please comment. I know this is true because I deal with hundreds of students on my channel and I receive emails and messages on WhatsApp uh, of people naming the black notes wrongly. And by the way, if you want my email or my WhatsApp number and you want to get some of my piano courses, I'll put my email and my WhatsApp number below in the description below the video. I have full length courses even for beginners. I'll put a link to my beginners course. It's a five hour course for you beginners who want to get in-depth training uh, beyond the free lessons that I'll be giving you. You can get the full beginner's course. It's called the Foundational Piano Course, which runs for five hours. So that's not a free course, but if you're interested to order it for in-depth learning as a beginner, please consider ordering the beginner's course, the foundational course. So back to my black notes. We said we have groups of three and two. Three and two. Let's begin with the group of two. The first black note in the group of two is called a C sharp note, C sharp. If you look at my MIDI keyboard, you'll see that hash, hash sign, okay? The hash, the two crosses, okay? That is the sign of the sharp. Now this name, the, okay, this note called the C sharp can also be called D flat. So this same note has two names. Each of the black notes will have two names. That's one of the differences between the blacks and the whites. And something that you have to realize is that the black notes are getting their names from the white notes. Something very important for you to note. The black notes will get their names from the white notes. So it will depend that black note lies in between which two white notes. See that? Depend the white note where the black note is lying in between. So for example, this black note here lies in between C and D. So this black note will get its two names from the two white notes between which it lies. 
So this black knot will be called a C sharp because it is above C. Okay, we move from C towards C sharp. But this black knot can also be called D flat because it lies below D. So assuming that we are moving from left to right, this black knot of course is ahead of C, but it is behind D if you are moving from your left to your right. So this knot, because it lies ahead of C, we call it a C sharp. So when we sharpen C, you get C sharp. So I want you to understand that sharp means moving up, flat means moving down. Up is on the right, down is towards your left. This is down the piano, this is up the piano. Okay, so this knot is called a C sharp or D flat. Now the flat sign is something that looks like a B, but it's actually called a beta. Beta in the Greek, it's a Greek letter called beta. If you look at my, at my midi notes, you'll see that B sign, okay? I believe you've seen that in many musical notes. So this is called a C sharp or D flat. Now let's move to the next black, black note. This black note, the second one is called E flat or D sharp. Why? If you look at it, it lies in between these two white notes, the D and the E. Okay? So, as usual, we said when it's B, because it, it lies above the D, we call it sharp. Okay? So it's a D sharp, but because it, is, it, it lies below the E, it's called E flat. So when you flatten E, you get what not? E flat. When you sharpen D, you get what not? D sharp. So the same note will have those two names, D sharp or E flat. Now, we've done the group of two black notes and you'll find those group, that, that group of two black notes throughout your piano, anywhere. The first one is always a C sharp, the next one is always D sharp. Or if you name it according to the flats, the first one is D flat, the next one is E flat. Now, many Africans like using the sharps but I've realized many people in the West, America and the, the whites, they like calling these using the flats, okay? Now let's move to the next group of three black knots. And I want you to realize that I'm really taking my time to be slow. If you are an intermediate or advanced player, please, please, please just watch in silence because we are taking care of our beginners. I'm, I usually post many lessons for you intermediate and advanced players, of course, but this series is just for beginners. So beginners, let's move on. The next group of three black knots. The first black knot, of course, as you can, you can see on your piano, lies between F and G, between F and G, okay? So this knot, this black knot will be called F sharp because it lies ahead of F. It can also be called G flat because it lies below this G. So this note will be called F sharp or G flat. The next black, black note of course now will be called G sharp or A flat because it lies in between G and A. So it's a G sharp or A flat. Then the third black note will be called A sharp or B flat. Okay, A sharp or B flat. So by now we have actually named all the notes. Let me name all the notes, all the 12 notes of the piano from A to G, from A to G. So where is my A? Right here. Why? Because this is C. Remember, two black notes, the first white note is a C. Behind C you'll get a B, then behind B of course you have an A. So A is my first white note. Immediately after A, I move to what? A sharp or B flat. Then after A sharp or B flat, we move to B. After B, we move to C. After C, we move to C sharp or D flat. Those two names work for that note. Then after C sharp or D flat, we move to D. After D, we move to D sharp or E flat, then we move to E, then to F, 
then we move to F sharp or G flat. Many students I know in Africa, in East Africa, all of Africa play in this key of F sharp. And many times they send me messages on WhatsApp or emails and they tell me, I play in key F. Sorry, if you tell me you're playing in key F, means you're playing here and not here. This is F sharp, okay? Now, this is not F flat, it's F. F only F. If you tell me F flat, you are taking me down to E. Because if you flatten F, you're going down to E. So this is just E. This is F. This is F sharp. Or you can call it G flat. Hope that is clear because I have had very many problems with my students on that note. Then of course we go to a G. Then G sharp or A flat, then A, then A sharp or B flat, then B, then C. Now the cycle continues. So if you count all your notes from A to the next A, I want us to count all the 12 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, back to A, which is our 1. So we only have these 12 notes on the piano, okay? Let me try play all the 12 notes. Those are the seven white notes and then one, one, two, three, four, five black notes, okay? These are all the notes on the piano. I just want to play this so that you can see it on the MIDI. Do you see all those notes? Those are all the 12 notes of the piano. Then they are repeated again from A, of course, moving forward, the next bunch of 12. So I hope now um, you, uh, you get an understanding of the naming, the correct naming of the notes. And I want to insist that it's very important for you to learn piano in the right way. Because if you have a wrong foundation, you, you have a very big problem moving forward. Okay? So, as I said, I have a full five hour course for beginners, five hours of learning, and in it I go from this stage and I go all the way up to an intermediate level. If you want that five hour course, please check the links in the description below this video. I'll also put my email and my WhatsApp number and you can order that five hour course. It's a good course, it's a good way for you to begin putting a solid ground on your piano theory so that you can uh, become an accomplished player. So today I just went through naming of the notes. Now in the next series tomorrow, don't miss out. Tomorrow I'm going to um, take you now through intervals. Intervals. I know even intermediate players, some of them cannot name me the intervals on, on the major scale correctly. On the piano correctly. I'm going to talk about the intervals and I'll also touch on the major scale because they go hand in hand. I'll talk about the intervals and the major scale. Please don't miss out on tomorrow's class. I hope you enjoy this. So please go through the naming of the notes. Do it at random, okay? Try see whether you can name all the 12 notes at random, right? I know I have my MIDI player on top so it's helping you get the names but i know at home you don't have the midi player on top try name the notes something else i'll mention is that you can download my free ebook my free ebook in which i talk about these concepts okay my free ebook the link is below this video that ebook is free okay I have talked about this concept in that ebook in detail, exactly what I've been telling you today. So download that ebook and go along with me. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now there are just a few things I'd like you to do to help us spread this word and support us. The first thing is to go ahead and hit the like button below this video. Just go ahead and hit the like button. And the second thing you can do is to share this uh, video on our social media platforms, on Facebook, on Twitter. Just go ahead and hit the share button so that will help us to spread this message so that more people can get access to these lessons. And the third thing is that if you have been watching my lessons and you're not subscribed to my channel, please just go right ahead right now now, log into Google with your Gmail, okay? With your Gmail, your email address, log into uh, YouTube, 
and then hit the subscribe button so that you'll always be notified when I release new classes. And then the last thing you can do is to visit our website majestieshouseofmusic.com then click on the piano video courses and you'll see a list of several longer detailed courses where I go much deeper into uh, these concepts, okay? So if you visit our website, you can order those courses there online if you have a PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, you can just send me an email or a WhatsApp message and then we can communicate on how you can order the courses and how I'll deliver them to you as downloadable files. I'll simply send to you a link and you can download the course that you are interested in. So thank you for following this channel and God bless you. See you in the next class.